20 teens, six rings with a pinky ring. Everybody used to pick at me, now I'm the one that they picking. Snake shout, they hit scene, but I can't hear it when the crowd screams. Still balling like an offspring. This for all the ones that doubted me. Gotta lose once to be a true winner. Only want the hundreds with the blues in them. Even blood across it where the blood dealer just stay turned like you know. I've been through that water like Olympic swimmers. Only bread and butter, what we ate for dinner. So I had to dream it till the dream is bigger. Only want the gold, we don't need the silver. Gotta be number one, number two, never count. Used to have bubble guts competition, now pouring them out. Making my babies proud, wanna cop my mama a house. Coming straight out the south, got enough juice to end the drought. Yeah. I buy like, I buy like 23. Whoa. Won't fall again and I put that on me. Yeah. I feel the way my heart all on my sleeve. Yeah. That's why I had to put my wrist on freeze. Come for the win, can't take another L. Designer on me, this they new Chanel. Did they split? Did they drill? Hey, hey, champion, huh? Yeah, we here. Reaching my goals, I do not feel ashamed. I'm a dog, I'm a beast, and I cannot be tamed. I don't do it for fame, it's the love for the game. I go in like I'm trained. I'm prepared for the rain, they amazed. I ain't break from the sticks and stones they threw. Anything that you could do, I could do it better than you. No matter what I do, a cheese still got something to prove. I spent the check on the diamond cross, but still ain't paid my dues. She gotta be number one, number two, never count. Used to have bubble guts competition, now pouring them out. Making my babies proud, wanna cop my mama a house. Coming straight out the south, got enough juice to end the drought. Yeah. I buy like, I buy like 23. Won't fall again and I put that on me. Yeah. I feel the way my heart. That's why I had to put my wrist on freeze. Come for the win, can't take another L. Designer on me, this they new Chanel. Did they split? Did they drill? Yeah, yeah, champion, huh? Yeah, we here. This life. I think I earned all my stripes. I don't believe all the hype. Get back on my feet and get right. Watch you work, watch him hate, watch him lurk. Can't relate, watch you skirt. Out the mud, out the dirt, above the waters, in the murks, at the gate, on sight. Red free, red tight, set the bar, take flight. Yeah, I've been grinding since I'm young and they told me my timing was coming. I've been hustling with no fun and forget all the fame, get the money. I'm out in LA where it's sunny. I've been eating since I'm young and since we ain't have food in our tummy. The life we was living ain't funny, but you cannot take nothing from me. Put that on my mama, my daughter, my cousin, my brother. I'll show you. Way better than I can tell you. The type of dreams that they say, that's why I learned from my failures. Don't do the handouts or the favors. Told my brother I'ma get this paper, was left behind, I'll see it later. To keep it real, you don't need to wait up, lay it all on the line, ain't no looking back. Giving my all with no strings attached. Can't run the bottom, roll through the cracks. Spotlight on you, boy, you were at. Hey, I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. I remember sleeping with my ribs touched. Now, I get it, go. I'm 
stuck in my way. They say I'm a chosen one, you see it in my face. Get this one and I'm holding on, I can't be replaced. I just take a sip when it's spit. We on track for the win. Celebrate the win again. Celebrate the win again. Take a sip when it's spit. We on track for the win. Celebrate the win again. Celebrate the win again. Yeah, the sun can't touch me. Got a brand new visor. Yeah, your friend's smart, but my boy's wiser. Yeah, get the job. Just a little hiccup. I did be ballin' this pickup. Remember me being so bummy and being so hungry. I had these grits. Ay, how did the lady go miss? Ay, how she remember she mixed? Met her at one of the fucks and we caught her a rhythm. She caught up a friend that kissed and we did it and that's how. 
so we kick it. Let me explain what I did. Can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some rings and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her, how I did it. Yeah. Spend the whole half, had a blast. Can I kick it? Even with a sprain. Hang, can I kick it? Just the flex, I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same. Things have changed. Can I kick it? People acting different, so I asked, can I? Before I went live, they ain't know what I was. Ain't no one alive that could do what I does. Like it just to catch my buzz. He's right here just to catch my cup. Now they don't really talk about us. Now they don't really talk about love. Honestly, they ain't never seen too much. What's love to a guy with a bag? What's heart to a guy with a How I did it, yeah. Spend the whole half, had a blast. Can I kick it? Even with a sprain, pain. Can I kick it? Just the flex, I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same, things have changed. Can I kick it? People acting different, so I asked, can I? EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to our nation's capital at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. The enthusiasm for football here on the East Coast always in the air. These folks are ready as their guys get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. The kickoff for Kansas City. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from FedEx Field. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Takeover first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. And he'll hope that this is not a sign of what's in store as he has to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. At the 23-yard line. Now Heineke rolling to his right. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away in the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position. And to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. And give credit to Reuben Foster, the linebacker, getting a hand in to disrupt. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line.
as they get him to the ground at about the 23. But it's fourth down. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. He is going to find Hill here. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. They've got a first and ten at the 15. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. He'll get this underneath to Bell. And this carry terminated at the eight-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going to the passing game, it should open up his running game, too. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Throwing is Mahomes on third, being chased out left. He may try and run for this. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Le'Veon Bell taking it in. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Andy Reid never one to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. And here's Edwards Alaire. He'll try to run it in with Bell. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Washington takes over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. 
First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got to guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand, put it behind you, keep pressing forward. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Edward the ball carrier. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. A gain of four. It's now second and six. One quarter down, eight nothing the score. With the score, Chiefs eight, Washington nothing. Second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. And it's third down. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. To throw, it's Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43 yard line. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And going deep for him. And this is taken in at the five. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Touchdown, Kansas City. Tyreek Hill, 43 yards. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. Well, split the difference, and they're right where they would have been with two PATs. They got the two-point conversion the first time they failed there. Interesting, isn't it? Because the first time you go after your first score, that feels like a gamble. The second time when they tried it again, that felt like, what the heck, right? Because, as you said, even if you miss it, you split the difference, and you're right on schedule at 14 points. will take over first and 10. At their own 22-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try to get things settled down a little bit. 34 yards there and a first down. 44-yard line. They'll try the left side. Gibson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12 at the 46-yard line. Behind the chain, second and 12. gun they'll look to throw eluding the pressure right that'll be caught at steven sims and he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackles made at the chiefs 32 yard line a really nice pickup of 14 yards and he moves the sticks this offense finding its legs now here's another first and ten the shotgun he'll look to throw the throw taken in by Sims and he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown Steven Sims Jr. 32 yards 
Jones. And Washington able to make this a close game again. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to 7. Makes the score. Chiefs 14. Washington 7. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. It's second down. After the sack on first down, Mahomes. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. And indeed, that's what they'll do as they run it here. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Three plays and out. It's fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. And this one will be touched down inside the 40-yard line. Takes over first and 10 at their own 38-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively or offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. For a Washington. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. They'll look to throw here on first down. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. Intended for Steven Sims. Incomplete. It's second down and ten. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice. An ambitious effort, but it's well short. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Dustin Hopkins to kick off for Washington. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. Taken in the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And their own 19-yard line. The 
the Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half and they've had ability to see what you've done, they're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Only a couple there. So he'll be brought down about the 28. He was brought down at the 28-yard line. Again, it's Bell. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 40-yard Throwing again on second down. Mahomes, a quick slant to Hill. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Now Edwards Alaire. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. On play action, it's Mahomes. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Dancing to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. From the 31, Mahomes. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Chase Young. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's Mahomes. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. You can feel the anguish all the way up here. It certainly looked like he had that one in the end zone. Open, unable to hold on to it. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. 
On the move to his left. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And Washington will have it on the turnover on downs. It's a turnover on downs. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And can they take advantage? Their defense got the fourth down stop, but now they're hoping to find the end zone. Their field goal wouldn't be enough to erase this fourth quarter deficit. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Gibson, and he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Nine yards is the pickup there, and they'll have a second and one. They'll try the left side. Gibson, and he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs' 42. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. They'll run on first down. It's Gibson. A big seam, and he might go all the way. Touchdown, Washington. Antonio Gibson, 42 yards. And Washington now an extra point away from tying this thing up. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets him a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get him the ball, give him a little momentum. And they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Chase yards. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Fabian Moreau. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try the left side. Gibson. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. They're able to convert with a gain of four. On first down, it's Gibson. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They'll try the left side. Gibson. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. On second down now. 
It's Gibson, and he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Antonio Gibson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And Washington has taken the lead. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Makes this Washington 21, Chiefs 14. Dustin following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Uh, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. He's going to let it fly. He's got it. Hit the 15. And, yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. And now they're going to go for two and a possible win as this crowd rises to make things difficult. And it is caught. They got the two points, and with it, they've taken the lead. Washington, 21. Harrison Butker to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. What do you do here, down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while, or you call it a day? You can do that, or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better, and try and execute that on the way out the door, and maybe get back to base and feel a little bit better as you end a, as you end a ball game that's been a frustrating one for you. Right, we'll see if they go back to base. He'll buy some time right. Open man here, Sims complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ballgame. He's back to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Sims. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. Brings up second and five at the Chiefs 44 yard. Second and five. Back to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Intended for Steven Sims. Incomplete. Brings up third and five. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. They'll look to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Intended for Terry McLaurin. Incomplete. Results in a fourth down. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. One final shot, they'll look to throw. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And all the way down to the 25-yard line. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really...
Grinding since I'm young and they told me my timing was coming. I've been hustling with no fun and forget all the fame. Get the money, I'm out in LA where it's sunny. I've been eating since I'm young and since we ain't have food in our tummy. The life we was living ain't funny, but you cannot take nothing from me. Put that on my mama, my daughter, my cousin, my brother. I'll show you. Way better than I can tell you. The type of dreams that they say. That's why I learned from my failures. Don't do the hand out of the favors. Told my brother, I'm gonna get this paper. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to our nation's capital at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. They love their football in this part of the country, and this crowd is ready to go as their guys will match up with the Houston Texans. So here's Kaimi Fairbairn to do the honors. And we are underway from FedEx Field. Taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Washington takes over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here on first down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Bernardrick McKinney, the linebacker, picks it. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17. yard line they'll take over first and 10 at the 17 yard line so from the 17 now here's a first and 10 after the interception here's Watson buying time to his left and he's going to keep it here and he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Gain of five brings up second and five. From the gun, here's Watson. Open man, the tight end fouls. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. A gain of four. And it's third down. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. Montez Sweat brought him down. First and goal, Houston. A shotgun snap for Watson, escaping the pressure right. 
to the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And he is going to go down back at the 11-yard line. Chase Young showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. They'll try to run it in, Johnson. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be fourth down. A 31 yard The kick by Fairbairn is good. And it's now 3-0, Texans. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Washington will take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Not the way they wanted to begin things. You have the interception on the first play of the game. The good news, it only led to three points. And remember our conversation with him prior to the ball game? He said they had something special designed for the first play. It didn't hit. Let's see if he can rebound from it and not let it get him down. At the 21-yard line. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Heineke, under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. J.J. Watt that time able to do what he does best, and that's sack the quarterback. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. And this a fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Zach Cunningham with a pick. They find some open field here. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. He'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Texans push further out in front. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, they're scrambling to create more time to throw the ball downfield. In this situation, as you noted, he tucked it and took off. Great play by him. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Washington takes over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. It's a gain of 20 as we wind down near 20 seconds left in the quarter. 39-yard line. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 10-0 to score after one on EA Sports.
This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll try the left side. Gibson. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Over 30 yards there. And first downs on three consecutive plays now. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Two yards the loss, second and 12. A loss of two brings up second and 12 at the Texans' 22-yard line. Second and 12. They'll look to throw here. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. A strong broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground just shy of the 15. It's a give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. Six. Looking to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And the Texans scoop it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Partner, you know how often we hear about the red zone, right? From the 20-yard line going in, that scoring zone, getting points on the board. A lot of teams call from the 10-yard line in the green zone. That's your money zone. He fumbles the ball inside the money zone. You have one job, take care of the ball. That didn't happen. Following the fumble recovery, Watson steps away to his left. He's going to take off with it, and he'll be out of bounds up past the 10-yard line. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and then it'll be second down. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. Good push up front, and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they were able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. Now a first down throw, Watson. He's going to float this one deep right. And this will be caught at the 30. A big time play there for the Texans. 41 yards. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Had this game to the last one, and they moved the ball over 50 yards in two plays. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Flushed out right. This is Cobb with a catch right side. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans will extend their lead.